these two examples are very important i have given you two examples here uh, the first one is this if a is any square matrix which means they are saying that a is a square matrix then show that a plus a transpose is symmetric and a minus a transpose is q symmetric okay uh, so uh, why first of all why do you think that they have asked that you know they are given that a is a square matrix only see they didn't they didn't specify that a is any matrix they specify clearly that a is any square matrix why should a be a square matrix is this uh, the reason is this if you are having a of size n by m right and if you have to add with it a transpose definitely the size of a transpose will be m by n right and unless uh, these two right you cannot add two matrices unless their sizes are equal uh, that is conformability for addition right we already discussed it so in order to add two matrices the both the sizes of the matrices should be same otherwise we cannot add them so if we have a rectangular matrix and if i take the uh, transpose of it then i cannot add the matrix with the transpose of itself because obviously the sizes are different that is why in case if both if both are square matrix n by n then it will be n by n and then we can add both of them right that is the reason why uh, the matrix should be a uh, square matrix right so if a is any square matrix then a plus a transpose is symmetric and a minus a, a transpose is q symmetric that is what we should sh we should show and i told you that whenever we want to show that some matrix is symmetric we have to take that matrix find the transpose of it and then prove that the result is also equal to the original matrix that is the process right so since a, it is already given that a is uh, symmetric i am just assuming that a equal to a transpose it is what is given already so using this equation we have we are supposed to prove that a plus a transpose is uh, symmetric so how can we prove it whenever we have to prove that a matrix is symmetric find out the transpose of it and the result should be the same matrix right then what do we get it is similar to a plus b whole transpose and we know by the properties of transpose that a plus b transpose equal to a transpose plus b transpose right so what do we get here a transpose plus a transpose whole transpose then what do we get a transpose plus a then what is it i can write it as a plus a transpose right now what is it we have taken a matrix and found out the transpose and we got the same matrix therefore we can say the original matrix is symmetric which means a plus a transpose is symmetric now let's see about a minus a transpose right so a minus a transpose if i have to see if it is uh, you know skew symmetric again i have to find out the transpose of it if i find the transpose then i get a transpose minus a right now uh, i can write it as minus a minus a transpose right so if you if you observe this we have taken a matrix and we had find out the transpose of it and we got that i think you you understood how i got this it is a transpose whole transpose which is a right so we have taken a matrix and we have taken the transpose of it and we got the negation of the same matrix so we can say that the original matrix is uh, skew symmetric right so a plus a transpose is symmetric and a minus a transpose is skew symmetric which means if a is any square matrix right and if you find out a plus a transpose that is going to be symmetric matrix and if you find out a minus a transpose it is going to be skew symmetric matrix okay and now the second question is show that every square matrix is uniquely expressible as sum of symmetric and anti and skew symmetric matrix so they are saying that every square matrix can be written in such a way that it is sum of uh, symmetric as well as anti symmetric it is sum of two matrices in such a way that one matrix is symmetric and other matrix is skew symmetric so i am going to use this this uh, example uh, in order to prove the second example okay so how how we can prove it is see this we already know that this matrix a plus a transpose this particular matrix is symmetric matrix 
right and by the uh, by, and by these rules the properties of symmetry this transpose we already know that if a is a matrix a, uh, a symmetric matrix then k into a if you multiply it with a constant it is also going to be a symmetric matrix so a a plus a transpose is already a symmetric matrix now i multiply it with a constant then i am going to get a matrix which is going to be uh, you know symmetric matrix itself so if i multiply with half a constant this is also a symmetric matrix got it and we know that a minus a transpose is already a a minus a transpose is already skew symmetric matrix and by the rules of uh, you know skew symmetry this uh, transpose if uh, if a matrix is uh, skew symmetric if i multiply with a constant then again the resulting matrix is also skew symmetric so i multiply with half and then i add both of them so this is a symmetric matrix and this is a skew symmetric matrix and now if i add both of them i get a right therefore every matrix a can be expressed every square matrix a can be expressed as sum of two matrices right one is symmetric and other is skew symmetric i have used the proof from the, this one to prove this okay